Hey, we're back. We're, right, we're I mean, back to talking about bondage. No. <clears throat> now, when it comes to bondage, I don't like heavy crap like getting shot and whatnot and like cut and vor and all that crap. No, vor's not bondage. It's connected. No, it's not. It's no. completely different. It can have it in it. It can have it in it, but it's a completely different t- sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, but isn't it sadism? And masochism? I don't know. It's not... It's or not sadism, bond- I mean. It's I not know. bondage, that's for sure. Bondage can be put into it, but it's not bondage. Bondage is like whips and... Crap. Bondage is like whips, leather, like ties, candle wax, electrocution, ball, cock and ball torture. <laughs> cock and ball torture from wikipedia.com. Oh, frick, I had to. But no, uh... Bondage for me, I guess, would be... I don't know, just don't really like it. I don't mind the the rope stuff. The rope stuff, maybe, and maybe the... Maybe the leather, in some cases, but like... Like, when they're all out in those weird leather outfits that zip up their face, that's weird. And then they got spikes on and stuff. If it's like leather boots, that like, leather... Lake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those are, that's those are fine. Not. Maybe like a maybe like where it's not like completely covering up. Like you can see, like it's like the for like women, like ex- oh, like leather cage. Yeah. Harness. Yeah, where it's just so it's still showing like the cleavage. It's not completely zipped up, and they don't have like a mask where you can just the you just covers see. their face and all they have is the hole. Yeah, it's and so the odd, weird. Dude. Yeah, like that. Ball gag is a no for me. Yeah, that's a little weird. Um, but whipping is also a no for me. Yeah. That, uh, scratching, no. Uh, I don't mind scratching if you're not bleeding me dry. Um, candle wax is also a no for me. Eh, it's actually, it doesn't, it's not painful. I've never done it sexually, but I've had candle wax spill on me, it doesn't yeah, hurt. Um, um, that's not, no, that's not a sexual pleasure for me. I, the, well, it's not a sexual pleasure. It's I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't whatever. get off to it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's some things you don't. I don't really like it. But if no. someone else is going to get off to it, and mm. I like that someone, whatever. No, they, I, I wouldn't do it for someone that I like. I don't care. That's not my thing. They wouldn't try something I wouldn't that I like. I know that's for sure. That they don't like. Well, see, I'm a flexible person. That's that's the yeah, thing. That's so what if she someone said. wants to do something, and I'm like, and I'm not against it. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna have a threesome. I'm against that. So All right. Like if I wasn't, I'd be like, okay, whatever. We're gonna have a a twosome. Except I'm going to swap, I'm going to record, and you're going to do it with a guy. No, I'm not in the cucking. <laughs> no, but you would be with a guy and yeah, the girl. Yeah, reverse cucking. Yeah. No. I'm joking, obviously. Well, it's, it's, it's like weird. Speaking of porn, um, did you know South Korea banned it? Yeah, and uh, did you hear that England, you have to have a license to watch porn now? Wait, really? Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm glad we don't live there. You got your fapping license? God. I thought that was a joke. I thought no. that... I didn't know that I was a joke. I saw it on Facebook and I read the article and I'm like, wow. It's to crack down on teens watching porn. You obviously know that people are going to use VPN to get around that, right? That's what VPNs are for. To... Oh, I thought it froze. No. And but... then, and then like, someone who's from, like, whatever post from England or whatever post, you got your wanking license? Yeah, they supposed to be like an FBI breaking in through the door. Yeah. Wow, nine damage. Real nice. All I gotta say is that it, pe- that's not gonna stop them. People are gonna use VPNs to get around it. People it's... are already using VPNs to get around the thing they just implemented, the article, whatever. Uh, I, well, that isn't taking place yet. It says it's gonna take two years, and they still have to get a complete approval from another board, and it can be shot down and then brought up for a revote. In which case, they said. There were 16 or 15 members that voted for it that are now seeing and reading it completely because it wasn't brought to their attention. It was just thrown in there because obviously the people that were setting it up just wanted it to get passed. Didn't want oh, it. so it was like a uh, read between the lines sort of deal? Yeah. And people, and now like 15 or 16 and members. And media covered. Yeah, and now 15 or 16 members of the, their, whatever their, what they have are looking at it saying, oh yeah, we made a mistake. So if they get a revote, it'll probably get turned down because now it'll be it'll shift to the other side. I mean, like I don't know how. Like they said, if it did, if it doesn't, the worst that'll happen for for us, because like it it would depend. The only way it would affect every other country is if like that isn't part of the uh, European Union. Is that if uh, 
if um, like YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and all these other places started implementing bots that would move things that were copyrighted. They wouldn't do that though. No, they would. It would affect their um, content globally. Yeah, and they can't. They um, while Europe is a decent market, America actually has a larger market than Europe combined. Um, and that's just America alone. Yeah. There's so China, ton- Japan. Canada, yeah. um, Australia, which all have big markets India. for them. Yeah, which all have big markets for them to go after. So they said the what would probably happen would be the worst case for uh, Europeans is that YouTube and Google and all these other corporations would stop working. With, they would cut yeah. their services off from Europe because there's no way they could keep up with the that sort of thing. It would cost them millions or almost a bil- billions of dollars just to make bots that could do that mm-hmm. and it just would be it'd be too they wouldn't be able to do it it'd be a waste of time and money for them so they would just why it's just one little region out of the entire world so they would just cut ties yeah in worst case scenario um that the people would just use vpns anyway mm-hmm. so so they would realize that and probably oh people are just going to use vpns from there so who cares but We'll see what happens. It, it said it's going to take two years for it to be processed and stuff. Nothing happens in two years. Well, you know, whatever. It gives me another reason not to live in Europe. Yeah. Until England or and, or the UK breaks from the European Union, then it'll be a bit more... That would be probably the only European country I would I go to. There was another thing I was looking at on Twitter, actually. They were saying how, like, Germany is building up its military like crazy now again yeah wow. and uh oh, no, World War III. no 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 they said germany's built up their military uh japan is putting a ban on self-defense st- or stopping the ban that was on that japan's government had a ban on self-defense stuff mm-hmm. after world war ii they're stopping the ban now and then they said uh italy um mussolini's great grandson is running for a seat in their thing oh boy here we go well, we're three. <laughs> Ooh, we got a nuke now. Oh, in Russia said... Two more nukes dropped. But in Russia, and also in Russia, over... People are saying that their their poll... Like, they did a poll compared to Stalin to uh, Putin. And people actually had a higher approval rating of Stalin than Putin. And so, they, they were thinking, like, communism will open up back there again. And we're like, well, you know, you know what they say. If you don't learn from your past... You're doomed to repeat it. And apparently people don't know what a Nazi is nowadays because they just label everybody as a Nazi. So it looks like they're going to have to relive it again. Yeah, another World War III. Here we go. Someone bring the draft back. You know we both go, right? Uh, me more than you. Why? Because you're technically... You're... Not physically fit for it? Yeah. Also, I don't think I have the mental state for it either. Yeah, the, the, it's still technically considered autistic. Jacob, uh... Jacob, he's completely messed up mentally, so he would be lower on the list as well. He'd be even lower because they, he's... He's, he's prob- not mentally stable. No, and the thing is, he would probably get himself killed just from the frickin' instructor. Yeah. He'd, he'd be... If he was in there, he'd be constantly doing chores, constantly being told to do stuff because... He'd be, he would actually, he thinks that he would talk back to him, but no. No, he would talk back once, get the crap knocked out of him, and then cry in a corner and probably kill himself. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> Can you go in the water? No. Uh, why are you going this way? Just checking it out, see what's around here. Um, the one thing, though, I think, do you think the government in China will fall anytime soon? Uh, I feel like it has a chance of falling. Well, I mean, like, do, no, do you think, know. like, the power will be shifted to more like a democratic sort of thing, where it's, where people vote? It's hard to say. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the government in China. I feel like, like, well, it might. Well, like, in my opinion, I feel like these, like, those types of, like... They have been moving more forward toward that. Yeah. But very slowly. I just feel like that, like, those types of governments, either were the dictators... Or where the government's super strong, it has a, a strong, like, authoritarian. Thor- authoritarian type of thing. I feel like eventually they're going to die out. I mean, like, there might be some... Well, all governments are eventually going to die out. History has proven that. 
and true. I'm just saying, like, we're moving further away from that sort of... From communism and that sort and of belief system. Communism, like, imperialism and authoritarianism, we're moving away from that. But there is, I feel like... <coughs> All I know is that um, I don't, I don't think authoritarianism, uh, dictator, dic- the dictatorships, or imperialism is going to be around for much longer. Those three definitely are probably dictatorships gonna... might come up here and there because there's always corrupt people trying yeah. to get in charge, you know. Yeah, but like imperialism, that's pretty much all but dead now. Um, there's only a few areas in the world that have, actually have uh, monarchies. Yeah. And one of the places that I'm on and just don't even follow it really like this figure head Are you crap. really seriously right now? That is super loud. Was she sniffing the mic? And purring right into it. There was a time where I had I forgot one of the recordings I had the entire time she was purring and it's super loud I'm like why didn't I move her away? Why didn't you move her away from the mic? Break both my man and uses her on the man. Um, but yeah, this has been politic, political talk for everybody, you know, hey, I don't think we need to cut that part out, it's just, just no, discussing, it's, like, yeah, what we, discussing what might happen, what could happen, um, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, the, the whole one world government thing that a lot of people talk about is probably never, it's probably gonna have to wait, it's not gonna happen for a long time, the, what's oh, gonna, great. Why do they always go for Zidane? Is he your strongest hitter? No. I think what's gonna have to happen for that to happen, like as a, on a global scale, obviously the, as a global thing, is for one, North Korea to stop being a dictatorship and remove the dictator, which, as long as China's around, that's gonna be hard to do. I'm surprised we haven't gone in and assassinated him actually. There's been plans for it by many presidents. And none of them can do it discreetly without China noticing it, because they China is so is actually right next to them. They have like monitors on that sort of thing. Wait, China actually is like an ally with them? Yeah, they're an ally with North Korea, but they're not because they like North Korea or they think they're a uh, sort of a, any help to them. They are an ally to them because they don't want America to spread and well, not uh, just America. Democracy. They don't want the West, like Europe and America, to spread, yeah, their influence, like democracy, in that region anymore. Because we, because if you think of, uh, right now, Have South... they threatened to blow up China? Who? North Korea. No. They've only threatened to blow up Russia. They threatened to drop bombs on us, too. They threatened to bo- drop bombs on everybody, and they no one takes them seriously. Yeah. They're what, like this big on the map? Yeah, <laughs> basically they one one nuke from them. Wipe them out completely. No, like one nuke, any any sort of attack that they would do on us or any country, minus Japan, because Japan's pretty small. The whole UN would go right at them and kill them, wipe them off the face of the earth, pretty much. The only the only allies, actually, the only allies they have are Russia and Russia. China, the only reason they're allies is because they don't like America, and China and Russia don't like America either. Yeah, but if they went to the extreme of attacking, they would probably... They, no, if they, if, if they went to... Like, China doesn't want North Korea to attack either, because China realizes that that would bring everybody into a war, a World War Three almost, and they, would, they don't want to get involved because they know they would lose right now. Yeah, they don't have a lot of combat power. They have no. a lot of people, not a lot of combat power. Um, but yeah, they don't, Ameri- uh, China just doesn't want, um, that's the, the only reason they're the allies, because they don't want, um, they don't want a European, mainly American, influence in the, in their area, because they, South Korea is already kind of a democracy influenced by America, so is Japan, so is the Philippines, so is, uh, uh, Malaysia, I think, and I think, uh, India is kind of running towards that way soon. Well, India is an ally of ours, but they're an enemy of China. China and India fight a lot, actually. They literally have a section on in between China and India that both of them say they claim and own that part of land. And they have military guards on right where, like, it's just a bit of land. And they have, like, India has guards on this side, China has guards on this side, ready to shoot at any sign of someone moving in and trying to take it. it 
And uh, who cares? It's just a small piece. Of I know, but for one, I think India is just because they don't want China next to them, and China is just because they want more land and power. Anything that China claims, they just think if if someone like if it's taken away by them from someone, it it hurts their government's power and it shows weakness. That's why, because it shows that they're weak and it shows that they don't want their people to rise up and take over. And I think, yeah, because Google has a specific map for each one. Like, in India, well, actually, for the the rest of the world, like, for the rest of the world, Google's map, the Google map shows that that bit of land is owned by India. For China, it just shows it's owned by China. They do it so they don't lose business in China. So that's why I think China really just... That's why I'm hoping they become a democracy at this point. So that way, just stop all the yeah, stupid... I cannot imagine doing things with my business to appease a whole country. I do not care. I'd be like, oh, you want me to mark that as yours? No, that's a lie. Screw off. They're like, then we don't need your business. There's like, what? There's, what, like 305 other countries? Not to mention, you've got one point something billion in yours. We'll just go to India with the uh, almost two billion in theirs. Which actually, technically India is going to rise past China in population. So, and if you count the rest of the world, China has one point something billion. The rest of the world, that's six, almost seven billion people so that you could, that would be able to do business with compared to the one point million. But... Yeah, the whole one world thing, like I said, unless North Korea becomes a, a democracy or Russia and China become a democracy and become more lenient or the United States becomes more lenient, it's not going to happen. So I don't know why people worry about it. I'm not worried about it until the, the day I will be worried about it is when North Korea becomes a democracy. Then I'll be like, oh, well, maybe it will happen then because that's like a... That's like something I don't ever expect to happen in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, this this has been like talk about like politics. Should we even keep this episode? Like, is do we really say anything offensive? Um, no. I don't know. Well, I mean, we didn't do anything really important. I don't think. Well, I'll be the judge of it when I go through it again. But I don't think we did. We we were talking like normal people. This is stuff that. Like Game Grumps might talk about or Markiplier or something. Or even PewDiePie. PewDiePie doesn't care what he talks about.